pre-cruise, transportation, excursions, drink packages, and internet. These are some of the topics that today we're going to talk about on cruising with Kim and Jen. with talking about things that we needed to take or we recommend that you take on a cruise. Now today we're going to be talking about some things that you might want to purchase and things that we strongly recommend that you think about before. And we're going to start with going to the cruise. So whenever you are planning your cruise, you've got all your stuff, everybody thinks, oh, you know, the cruise doesn't leave till four or five in the afternoon. I can fly there that day. That was us. That was us. That was us. Yes. That's, that was what we did our first on our first cruise until someone told us that's do not, not a good idea. Do not do that. Don't <laughs> do that. And, you know, we learned very, very quickly because on our second cruise with our friends that said, yeah. you know, we are going to have to go, you know, at least the day before. So we went the day before when we went early, early the day before. And we had the best time yeah we, we had yeah. a whole day whole day yeah. in, galveston. in galveston and it was what we now call our our pre-cruise yeah. so it's a pre-cruise pre vacation <laughs> uh, it's it's usually you know very laid back we just kind of see the sights we've done it at yeah. at Port Canaveral, we have done it in, you know, when you're in Orlando, uh, you know. Well, Port yeah. Canaveral, we made a whole <laughs> vacation out of our pre-cruise. Yes. We went to Disney for four days. Yes. So. Well, in all fairness, there was a hurricane coming. So yes. we decided we yes. better get there safe yeah, and we sound. Got there, we got yeah. there yeah. Yeah, earlier. Early. early. Yeah. And so, had a blast in Disney World. Yeah, absolute yeah. blast. We would strongly, strongly recommend, I mean, that you absolutely do the pre-cruise we on our second cruise that we went to we were sitting on the deck you know about an hour away from you know the departure and there were several people sitting by us that they were waiting for their friends to show up that had just landed about three hours prior but on the highway in texas they had some accidents yeah. and some shutdowns and unfortunately their friends were stuck on the highway and the ship does not wait for you I know. I mean, it was so sad. I mean, and we, we left have them learned to yeah. go the day before because it doesn't matter what time of year it, it, it is. It really does. We now have seen um, like hurricane warnings. We've seen flooding in flooding Florida. In Florida. Yeah, flooding in, yeah. in the Fort Lauderdale. They closed Fort Lauderdale um, Airport. airport. Mm -hmm. They closed Orlando Airport the time yep. we were going to go. So we had to scramble and out. book um, a day or two before that. Yeah. Um, we saw people, yes, that couldn't get there because of wrecks. We saw people couldn't get there because of flooding. Yep. Um, and if you can't, I know a lot of people are working right up until the last minute, even fly the night before, even yep. though now we, we did that for a while. And even now we're even leery of that because if you're flying the last flight out that night, you may get canceled and then, yep. then you're kind of at the mercy of the next day. So. I would recommend that you fly mid-afternoon at least. It's you know, just not worth morning. taking a chance. No. You've spent all this money no. paying for your cruise and getting yeah. ready for it. Nobody wants to miss their cruise. No. So. And it's just, you have to get up so early as well yeah. to, to fly out early and to get there. We found that it's so nice and you're all rested and then we get there to the port yeah. and, you know, it's it's all, you know, we're all awake and, you know, raring to go for the, our cruise day. So. And, and as well as thinking about that, you may want to think about booking your transportation or how you're yeah. going to get there from the hotel. I mean, whether or not you're going to take an Uber or whether or not they have transportation. Yeah. We took we took a bus because um, yeah. like Carnival has like bus transportation. Yeah. We took bus transportation once. That was really nice, actually. It was so nice because they the just bus was, up. The bus was yeah. there waiting for us yeah. as we came out. And it yeah, was, that was very It was nice. really hot. Everybody's sweating <laughs> out there waiting for the rides. And we got yeah. in this nice air conditioned yeah. bus and it was, it, that was pretty nice. It I was like that. very nice. And then yeah. your luggage is there and everything. Internet, what do you feel? Um, yeah, whether or not to purchase the internet mm -hmm. package. Um, there's different 
um, levels levels mm -hmm. of the internet package on both um, cruise lines. We chose to get the internet package because oh, yeah. and we kind of got the middle of the road one mm -hmm. um, price wise because we like you know get getting on Facebook. Yeah. We like FaceTiming with our kids. Yeah. Um, just getting on social media and things like that. And then and so, also just to have that extra internet where we were looking yeah. up things. Yeah, like we looked what's up things gonna be a lot. At the mm -hmm. next port, we would look up. Mm -hmm. If you get the value one, which is the least expensive. It was it kind of the middle connection. one. Connection, yeah. yeah. But, well, whichever one that's the least expensive, it won't give you outside web connections. Yeah. So it's just like very limited. So yeah. we get the middle one, yeah. like Kim said, and yeah. and we've had no trouble with it. Yeah, obviously sometimes in our room. Yeah, our for room, some reason I, I wouldn't know, have connections sometimes. It was that spotty you here and there, yeah. but um, but still we could FaceTime and things like that, yeah. and still keep in contact with our kids, mm -hmm. and that that was important to us that it was. people could yes. always connect with us. Mm -hmm. And so I I would recommend it, but if you mm -hmm. want to tap it off and turn it off, I say go for it. You know, if you that's one less expensive if you can if you can do that. Yeah. Drink package. Drink package. That's a, <laughs> that's a big one. Um, that's a big one. Yeah, drink pack. You're going to get the all inclusive drink package. Um, it's pretty pricey. Um, yeah. But if you're a big drinker, that's maybe the yeah. way to go. I mean, um, we are we are not. So no. we get the soda package. Yeah. And um, bubbles or whatever it's, it's called it's on. It's like class of soda yeah. package, I yeah. think, on Royal and yeah. the bubbles package mm. on Carnival. Carnival. Mm -hmm. um, we just, you know, we drink and a lot of pop, For so. example, for us, it is so cost effective because, what was it, like $66 for the week and like mm -hmm. a seven or eight day cruise. And anytime you can just get your drink. And I will say Royal is way more accommodating. The big mega ships, you, you know, as we've said before, yeah. you can have your, your, your drinks mug. like this. Yeah. And this I brought my own mug on Carnival though. Yeah. Yeah, so. absolutely. And they use cans and then mm -hmm. fill it up with that. Yeah. And it, it's just, it's so much less expensive, you know, by doing mm -hmm. it that way. Well, yeah, there's different levels yeah. of the drink package. You just have to look through it, decide what's right mm -hmm. for you. Absolutely. Kind of price it out and see if you're going to, if you think you would drink that mm -hmm. much alcohol in a week, then, then maybe the, yeah. you know, the total. Then you do um, want to probably do that. Cheers package. I will say that if you do do the all-inclusive drink package, both people in the room have to do that. That's true. And so if it's $700 for one person, it is a huge expense because a seven day cruise will be like $1,400 for the drink package. Yeah, and so better plan ahead for that Yeah, one. <laughs> you gotta plan ahead. So, I mean, you're either gonna be paying for it at the end or yeah. you pay for it up front. And I know a lot of people are like, I'm just gonna pay for it and, but then, you know, I also heard a lot of people felt like they had to drink more and they were getting yeah. sick because of it. So, yeah. you know, I mean, but it is something to think about. That is an extra expense. I know yes. a lot of people have asked us Okay, so you bought the cruise, but what about all those extra expenses? You know, the initial expenses, they've already been purchased, you know, like we had said in our last video. This one, they do need to be purchased every time. However, you can really do major cost savings on your hotel where you're staying, you know, stay close to the port and and then your transportation and the drink package, you know, that's going to be kind of at your discretion, you mm -hmm. know, with that. And then excursions. Now that's yeah. that's probably your biggest expense. Yeah. Like what are you going to do at each port? Yeah. And that's something. Just mm -hmm. take the the time before yeah. your cruise to um, look at all of those excursions that mm -hmm. each cruise line offers. Yep. Um, see what looks fun to you. Um, read the reviews. Read the really. reviews. I mean, yeah. um, there are also a lot of excursions you can take that are outside um, mm -hmm. people, outside tours, mm -hmm. and some of those are really good. We did a really great oh, uh, private catamaran oh, thing yeah. in Barbados yeah. that someone recommended to us, and yeah. it was the best. We it will give you a whole video about that because yeah. we cannot Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. The, and how fantastic it was. And we have not had any problems. I no. know, you know, it, there's a worry about if it's not a cruise sponsored mm -hmm. excursion, you worry about whether you're going to get back to the ship on time, and that's a valid worry. Very valid. Because <laughs> they yeah. will leave without you. Yes, they will. <laughs> 
Except um, if you are sponsored by right. the cruise. The cruise sponsored excursions. Yes. They, they will, will make wait. Sure. Yeah. Because, I mean, not if you miss your bus, but you know, yeah. if the bus is coming back and had a problem, they will absolutely wait for you. Yeah. So, so just, just do yeah. your research, um, spend weeks and months ahead of time mm -hmm. and just look at all the options. There's yeah. so many fun things to do and um, and we're going to do lots of videos on excursions yeah. what we have personally found and we've we've gone on sponsored ones. We've also stayed at the port on several of them. Yes. I mean, sometimes and you which don't ports even are have good to... for that. Absolutely. Yeah. And that I think that's an excellent topic for our next one. Yeah. You know, which it which free too. one. So you absolutely do not have to spend a dime. Yeah. You, know, you can get off and have a and blast. Still, and still have a really good time. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So yeah. Well, thank you for joining and hope to see you soon and don't forget to like and subscribe with them. We did.